hello and welcome a new case in poisson distribution and that is fitting a poisson distribution or fitting of a poisson distribution normally in this type of cases either a case or a problem is explained or a frequency distribution is given and we are asked to fit a poisson distribution the further further to this type of problem is chi square test whether the data follow poisson distribution or not that will be the problem in case of chi square test but later on we are going to discuss it in this case just we are going to fit a poisson distribution we have been given a frequency distribution let us r equals to x and that can take values from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 or more that means this is open ended frequency distribution and these are various frequencies in this type of cases first of all we have to calculate mean because without mean we cannot calculate poisson probabilities and so first we have to calculate mean then we have to calculate poisson probabilities of all these possible outcomes then we shall multiply these probabilities by capital n the result will be expected frequency according to poisson distribution and we shall write them again okay so fx 0 into 4 0 14 into 1 14 20 into 2 46 23 into 3 69 18 into 4 72 9 into 5 45 96 54 what is the summation of these numbers it comes to 300 sigma fx let us verify 10 19 21 26 30 4 8 14 16 17 18 19 20 21 26 30 300 so the mean is sigma fx by sigma f or capital n 300 by 100 so the mean comes to 3 and in poisson distribution mean is known as lambda or mu or simply m3 so e raised to minus mean will be e raised to minus 3 that will be 1 upon e raised to 3 that will be 1 upon 2.71828 raised to 3 that will be 1 upon i have already written all these things 20.0855 therefore in this particular case e raised to minus mean comes to 0.04979 0.04979 using calculator i have already done this now we have mean so we can calculate all poisson probabilities of all these possible outcomes what is the formula of probability probability of r taking value x equals to e raised to minus mean into mean raised to x or r upon x factorial or r factorial let us calculate probability for 0 it will be e raised to minus 3 into 3 raised to 0 upon 0 factorial so it will be e raised to minus 3 so it will be 0.04979 now p of 1 e raised to minus 3 into 3 raised to 1 upon 1 factorial so it is e raised to minus 3 into 3 so it is 0.04979 into 3 so it comes to 0.14937 p of 2 e raised to minus 3 into 3 raised to 2 upon Two factorial that will be 0.04979 into three square nine upon two factorial two. Ultimately, it comes to 0.2241. Yes. Similarly, now p of three because r or x can take any of these values. All these are possible mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcome. That will be. e raised to minus mean into mean raised to 3 upon 3 factorial so it will be 0.04979 into 3 cube 27 upon 3 factorial means 6 it comes to 0.2241 again p of 4 e raised to minus mean into mean raised to 4 upon 4 factorial 0.04979 into 
3 raised to 4, 81, 4 factorial is 24. So it comes to 0 0.1680. P of 5. E raised to minus mean into mean raised to 5 upon 5 factorial. So it will be 0 0.04979 into 3 raised to 5, that is 81 into 3, 243 upon 5 factorial is 120. So it comes to 0 0.1008. 0 0.1008 in the Vaishnava Sampradaya, the followers of Vaishnava Sampradaya believes it a very holy number. P of 6. E raised to minus mean into mean raised to 6 upon 6 factorial. So it is 0 0.04979 into 3 raised to 6 means 243 into 3, 729. Divided by 6 factorial means 120 into 6, 720. So it is 0 0.05044. 0 4, okay. All the 6 and more. That we are keeping our fingers crossed. What about hand more? Let us see what happens. So now, Poisson distribution. R over X. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Probability of X as we have already calculated 0 0.04979, 0 0.14937, 0 0.2241, 0 0.2241, 0 0.1680, 0 0.1008, 0 0.0504. But the summation of probability up to this value comes to point. 9659 if we take this as 94 so it is not one then we have to consider the wordings and more that will be 7 and more if summation comes to 1 the probability of X or R taking value 7 or more comes to 1 minus 0 0.96659 that is 0 0.03341. Keep this thing in your mind. We are taking the probability of 7 and more as the difference of summation of probability 1 and since all these are possible Mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes, the summation must be 1. But till 6, the summation comes to 0 0.96659. So we have to consider the wordings and more into consideration. And that means 7 and more, that value is also possible. Okay. Now expected frequency. That will be n into p of x. That will be 3, sorry, not 300. 300 was sigma fx. N is just 100. 100 into P of x. So, if we multiply all these by 100, first will be 4.98 over 5. Second will be 14.94 equivalent to 15. 22.41 that will be equivalent to 22 again 22.41 equivalent to 22 16.80 that will be equivalent to 17 10.08 is equivalent to 10 5.04 is equivalent to 5 and 3. Point, again we are going to make the total 5 plus 15 20 20 plus 44, 64, plus 17, 81, plus 10, 91, plus 5, 96. So, the frequency or rather expected frequency of the possible value 7 and more comes to 4. That is 100 minus 96. 
This we have to take as the difference of the two summations. This was the case of fitting a Poisson distribution. That's it. Thank you.